Hello, this is going to be my final review for May 4th, 2021, Transformers Tuesday, the first time I've gotten a post in a while. Oh man, I did three other reviews, I hope you guys check them out, enjoy them. Now, because of COVID, because of the pandemic, and because of the federal response, which kind of left us all out of sorts, and now the economy almost collapsed, and all sorts of other fun stuff, we are still getting some distributors... Um, basically getting figures from uh, Earthrise now, while Kingdom's in its second wave uh, and I'm just gonna get into it it's fucking Skylinks, go fucking do whatever you want it, it's just look at that box art I saw it and I, I, I kind of screamed a little bit, but like adult men aren't so, supposed to scream during the pandemic in the middle of Target. I didn't even know Target was going to pick these guys up and have them in store. Like I, I thought it was going to be like, you know, uh, Omega Supreme, where it was like, no, nobody's carrying this. It's too big. You're like whatever. And I saw it, and you know, everybody's been having a hard time stocking, keeping these things stocked. Um, you know, I see some of the other reviewers who already have everything that's on Hasbro Pulse and I'm like cool I'm, I'm glad for you like I wish that this last year wasn't absolutely fucking horrific for so many people and I really wish the pandemic hadn't showcased how much of white privilege goes into collecting Transformers because it means as kids we had more money than everybody else if we had them unless you were like me when your parents ran out of money and had to start going to garage sales to get them but now, you know, I'm keeping a limited collection, which is only about 200 Transformers total, which is a fucking insane number. I have had an incredible amount of luck collecting these guys and having a, the fortune to be able to have disposable income. Now, does that mean that I went on fewer dates with my wife or drank less in order to be able to afford them? Well, when I lived in San Francisco and beers were $12 a piece, that only meant I had to not drink two beers in a night and I'd be able to buy a brand new Voyager figure. So, thumbs up. Well, this guy only comes with two main accessories. He comes with a bunch of blast effects. And for now, I'm just going to take these guys off. They come with the peg ports, uh, the hex pegs. And I don't, I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. If you guys know what that's for, please drop a comment uh, underneath. But um, the guns are pretty cool. They've got little uh, abilities to show off the blast effects. And the blast effects come out looking pretty, pretty snazzy. I mean, these guys are blast effects that we got with Omega Supreme just done in orange. But, you know, th the thing that you know you're going to do... And I'm just going to show this off real quick. Uh, it's that. That's 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 what you're getting it all for. Th that's that's it right there. Just 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 fire fire breath effects. That's it. Yeah. Who cares about anything else? Now there's three small similar ones, just like Omega Supreme, and you know you plug those into the back end, and you'll get you know three rocket fire effect, and that's that's pretty cool. But you know, really, it's it's the fire breath. It's it's the fire breath. It really is. This thing looks absolutely magnificent. And getting into the review of him, I know that I'm usually very optimistic with Transformers with my reviews. I love the shit out of these waves. Earthrise, golden. Kingdom, begrudgingly golden. Siege, just some of the best fucking figures we have gotten in a long, 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 long time, unless you were buying ma Masterpiece figures. And somehow, somehow, the Studio Series figures have still been hitting it out of the park, even though nobody fucking cares about those fucking movies because they were fucking garbage. I'm sorry, Michael Bay, but you didn't do it well enough because they shouldn't have looked like insects. They should, you should have figured out how to make them look like regular-ass Transformers. Nobody knows who Dino is. He's one of the best figures out of that series, and no one fucking knows who he is. Who the fuck is he? Who is Dino? Is he Dinobot? Is he a Dinobot? Is he just some dude named Dino? I don't know. Look at this thing. It's 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 fucking amazing, and it also doesn't do the thing where there's a robot underneath. It actually looks like it could be something else, and I just don't care. But this guy, Skylinks, one of the most important Transformers ever created. It walked. 
it was two Transformers in one. It did a whole bunch of shit that other Transformers couldn't do. And it didn't come with any accessories because it was way too much all in one package. That's fair. Whatever. But I mean, you can go out there and you can see what a lot of other reviewers are saying about this thing. But I will tell you this. He doesn't have a very classic transformation. See, he doesn't turn into a giant dude. A giant robot dude or a giant robot chick. Whatever other genders there might be. Because Transformers could theoretically just have a bunch that we just don't even know about. I mean, from what I understand, they don't even have genitals. So who gives a shit? Like, whatever. But what I mean is that he doesn't transform into the stereotypical big dude. So that sort of like completion in in your head, it, it seems like you want to be transforming him into his other modes because there's more. And there is more. They're running through the cycles on this guy. Found a lot of really neat shit about him. Um, but this carrier mode looks fantastic. The uh, top opens up and you can see here he's got another 5mm port right in the middle. Um, but it's basically, you know, just a storage bay uh, with, if I remember correctly, the, the solar panel sections of the things that would uh, come out. Um, but but even even the doors have sculpted detail on the inside. I mean, 80 bucks for this thing, MSRP, you're getting your money's worth. The detailing on this is sick. It's absolutely out of control. And if you see the other review of the other Commander class figure that they've come out with, uh... It's just over the top. It's absolutely over the top. Now, you can see here, just right there, some of the detailing is so fine that I have a piece of dirt that has fallen down in the crack and I cannot get it out with my finger. That's that's how detailed the sculpt is. But let's get into the transformation and pull this tab here and it's gonna unlock him. And we're gonna go with the links first, but Basically, the head is down here. You fold this down, rotate the whole thing up. It's got a little locking point. Push the head up and back, close it. You can open the mouth, the tongue swivels. That's pretty cool, and you can also put the fire effects on him. Um, now, if, if, if you're looking for a lot more than that, it's not. The two tails fold back, and these guys come out down and then out again and then the foot section comes down now I'm not going to fold them into a hyper uh, hyper pose you know I'm just going to keep it pretty standard you want to take a look here he's got a little uh, tab hole there that connects to this little tab right here and that's what you're trying to clear by folding that out so fold this guy down and bring it out same here he's got a little tab Right there, and tab hole, keeps them locked in. Pull them down. Try to keep from losing his pants. I mean, you know, these days, you never know, especially on Zoom. Don't know if people are wearing pants. I am, by the way, I am. But yeah, that's, that's the links. I mean, it's, again, my method of comparison is, is it bigger than my head? It's a fucking giant fucking figure. It's fantastic. And there's no other modes to this. There, that, that's, you're done. That's it. So, you know, it's pretty awesome. He's like a little carrier dude. He's got little wheels back here for him to turn him into the base mode. And then we'll set him down. And then comes, I mean, what, that's a lynx. What even, what even? It's part pterodactyl, part dinosaur, part astronaut. I don't know. Pop the back out, and there's two tabs in the back that when you're pushing it in, you gotta make, you just push on the top on both sides. It's pretty gentle, pretty easy, but it's got a side swivel door. And then this whole thing rotates down and you pull it back. Now there's a, pe a peg underneath the tail fin. You can see it right there. I, for the first couple of days that I had him I guess maybe it's been weeks now what is time I don't know but uh it pops in pretty hard and that actually helps lend us an, an enormous amount of stability to the tail 
uh, while you're transforming them. But you just fold the door back up and you're good to go. Now these guys, you can basically just fold them up and these are probably the weakest sections. This whole thing is just all sorts of a problem of its own. But they fold up and forward just like that. The wings come out, come up, come out, come up. The head comes straight out and I like to put it up just a little bit while he's in this mode. But uh, after that, you pull the legs down, fold them forward just a little bit, bring them down on both sides. And then what I like to do is there's a little bit of sideways give, and that just gives you a little bit of extra clearance with them. It doesn't make it look real bad or anything. But the legs, they've got a lot of articulation to them, and I'm really happy about that because if you're going to wind up having a big, goofy-looking rooster pterodactyl transforming dinosaur robot like transforming astronaut space shuttle thing um i guess a little bit of extra articulation where you can get it works and from here i mean i don't even realize how big this guy is but from here one of the things that i like to actually do is uh fold his wings back in bring his head down and fold his legs back up because it looks like he's going in for the dive and I know you can't do that with the original. I know you can't do that with any of the other versions of Skylinks because I have one of them and it's pretty good. It, I mean, it turns into a combiner. But this guy, look at all this neck swivel. It's it's insane. It's so good. I mean, he can look at his butt. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> it's extra stupid. And that's that's fantastic. You know. Uh, going into the Skylinks thing, you just fold his legs back up. And then once you've got him here, make sure the tail's out, all that. I'll set him down. You're going to fold the shoulders back in on the links. Close up the mouth, fold in the head, bring it back down, tuck him away. It's not too hard. Bring these guys in. And then you're going to get rid of the tails because he's going to have his own. And this is a little bit tricky, but he's got um, a hook that he needs to meet on this piece right here in order to be able to tab up with that. And you can see it in here. Now, a lot of times you just wind up missing. So you want to get that, feel the anchor and get it popped in and you're good to go. And once you've got that, you can kind of do with the wings, whatever you want. But he is, I mean, I'm going to lean back here. He's a behemoth. This thing is a, 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 a chonky boy, big old fucking chonky boy, and I'm not even, I'm not even into the third mode. I mean, we've got another mode, mode to go. The reason I'm transforming him back to this is because I can transform him from here into a space shuttle like that. But like, <sighs> my wife didn't know what to make of him, and I really like that because I didn't know what to make of him as a child, and having him sit out like, thumbs up. He's cute. He's cute. I love him. He's fantastic. If you are at all a fan of the original Skylinks, save up the money, drop him on this guy. He's worth it. It's fucking awesome. All right, we're going to transform him real quick into the shuttle mode again. Pull the wings up, get him out of the way. Come over here, pop this guy down. Yep, get that. Pull it back up pretty quickly. Get him there. Now, it, the reason why I did this last was because I wanted to show you this. This little tab right here connects to this thing, and they really should have made this bigger. I don't care if it would have made the, the ankles look kind of uh, chunky, but it you force it in. You can barely hear that really loud click. Yeah, it's, it's hard to hear because, you know, it's, it's not big enough but he's back to what he does. And he's got wheels that you can fold out, which are great. We don't need those right now. I'm gonna put that guy back down, and then we're gonna go to base mode. And the base mode is basically his money maker because if it didn't have this mode, you'd be like $80. Mm, no thanks. Uh, but with base mode, he's, he's basically, basically 
a fucking awesome, awesome fucking figure. Especially when he's connected up to Omega Supreme because that figure is dope as fuck. And with this guy, his legs fold out. This guy folds out. If you haven't seen all this already, it's pretty pretty standard uh, for base mode stuff. You know, extra, extra ramps and shit tucked away. You fold his rear legs out to the side, fold these little guys down. They can hook up to Ironworks and other figures like that. You know, he's got plenty of connectors on this thing. Uh, his back legs fold down and rotate around. Well, that's how I do them anyway. And give him just a little nudge out. And the reason why you want to make sure that his back legs or his front legs fold out and down and that his back legs stay up in the air for the cannons and the turrets that are supposed to go with these guys and the instructions. I really liked it the way it looked when I had these guys up and these guys down, but the problem is you don't have the clearance with the shuttle on here in order to be able to have all that be working. So, you know, you got to take what you can get. Anyway, so with the turrets up in the air, I actually like to turn these guys out and have them clipped all the way down. Uh... Because it just, it kind of takes away from the aesthetic that he's got treads here, and those treads are doing anything. Um, so I'll hook these guys up sideways, and it just, it makes it look a little bit better, because the articulation on it after that is pretty easy to turn sideways, or up and down, whatever, and it also keeps it out of the way of the shuttle. Now that's, that's basically base mode right there, and it looks quite a bit like just about every other small base. You know, the big central part of the body, a little bit off to the sides, a couple of ramps going here and there. He's got a storage compartment for the Minicons inside, and you can actually get direct access from there inside here. Um, but then the underside of the mouth, where the Lynx head folds away, there's three tabs that meet with the boosters. And you just rest him on top of that because it doesn't actually click in. And one of the things you can do is there's a tab right here on the bottom of the space shuttle that tabs in and that'll lend some extra stability. That's cool. But there you go. That's fucking it, man. Look at that. And you can open this guy for storage. Oh. The 80s toy we didn't know we needed in the 2020s. God, it's been so long. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the review. Get Skylinks if you're a big fan of Skylinks. Don't if you're not. Do if you like a really cool alternative transformer. Yeah, I don't know. I really fucking like him. He's going to do a great, great addition to the city modes once I get all the other Titan class transformers. But solid pick. Good job, Hasbro. Good job, Takara. I'm very fucking pleased with this purchase. But I'm also a massive fan of Skylinks. I mean, come on. How could you not be? He's just so cute. Anyway, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side and stay safe. Remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do and maybe also don't do some things that I would do. Until then.